It's a very special episode. Oh, it's uh, Edgar Norton's birthday. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it is. Oh, you have that? Yeah, you made that. Uh, yeah, actually, last week was Gustav von Safertitz's uh, oh, birthday, which uh, you would think we should have mentioned just because it's so fun to see. <laughs> but it was also uh, Percy Bysshe Shelley's birthday. Oh, was it? Yeah, last yeah. week. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know when I wanted to use the birthday things. I've been posting. You've seen it. No, maybe no, you I haven't. haven't. You can't see I, anything. I can't. All right. Um, it's, it's me this Time. Oh, right. Yeah. Shoot, I got the hard part. How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of Ghost Frankenstein. My son, would you destroy that which I, your father, dedicated his life to creating? What if it had another brain? Who's brain? Your brain. Bother! What good is a brain without eyes to see? I warned you that you might regret this action. Well, we've warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute. That's the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute by minute Ugh. by minute. I'm Tom Lang. And I'm Bill Evenson. Yep. And you've joined us for Minute 12. You sounded a little oh, unsure. I'm <laughs> not sure. No, I, 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 I'm looking at you. You are. Oh, I'm sure? You are Bill Evenson. I am Bill Evenson again. Yeah. I'll be playing the role of Bill Evenson. Okay. Playing I, the role of Bill Evenson tonight is, is Bill Evenson. Bill Evenson yeah. will be played by... <laughs> You've joined us for minute 12 of All New Thrills, The Ghost of Frankenstein <laughs> Minute, or whatever we're calling it. Is that going to get, that's not going to get old like <laughs> calling the monster Frankenstein? There you go. And in, you, <laughs> in this minute, Frankenstein and his pal, <laughs> his pal Igor, meet up with a uh, uh, lady by the name of... Goose, Goose Girl. Goose Girl. Who plays Goose Girl? Who's well, Goose Girl? First of all, Igor asks, please, what is the name of this village? He remembers He remembers to do the voice at yeah, this, in this shot. Uh, the Goose Girl is played by Janet Warren. Yeah, yep. obviously. Yep. Although uh, Mank in of the, of the, of the, <laughs> the uh, Warren uh, dynasty of, of the, uh, dynasty, the, the, the <laughs> Earl <laughs> Warren, of course. Well, yeah, yeah, the, Earl the, Warren. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mank in two different books misidentifies her as Doris Lloyd with a question mark in parentheses. Interesting. Okay. So at the time, those were written late '80s, early '90s. Yeah. It's in this book, the Magic Image script book, and in It's Alive, the classic cinematic saga of Frankenstein. Wow. So this. This is fascinating because I, I didn't notice this or or pay any attention to this. But this is only the first actor in this minute that is in apparently some dispute. Yeah. So look forward to that later it's in this in episode. This, this episode. Um, she pronounces it Vasaria. Oh well, wait, you Ms. Tell Ms. Me who she I'll is. tell you all about her. Yeah. Okay. This is mm -hmm. her entire. Nah. Well, Ms. Warren was born October third, nineteen twenty-one, in Santa Ana, California. Hmm. Died January sixth, two thousand eight, in Chatsworth, California. Hmm. Was also known as Elaine Moray. Okay, like the eel. Yep, 33 credits from 41 to 54. Amongst them are Buck Privates, Pardon My Sarong, and Keep Him Flying. Those are all Abbott and Costello films. Uh -huh. uh, the Jade Mask is a uh, Charlie Chan. Uh, Do you remember her from any of these? No. Okay. <laughs> we, so she's not the lead in any No, way. she's like, some of them she's like blonde, uncredited. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding, yeah. Um, there's a film, uh. we jump ahead to the 50s, is really, really goofy film called The Twonky. All right. It's uh, Hans Conried fighting with a possessed television set. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Wow. Um, and then a couple episodes of Dragnet. I mean, she did a bunch of other stuff, but nothing that we really... Well, yeah. I'm just proud of her for bothering to continue because she's terrible. This is Perry I, Ivan's I level don't, shit. I don't, no, I, I don't agree. Okay. I think she is doing what she was instructed to do and in, is being puzzled by the appearance of these two. Yeah, I get that you know, from her, she sure. Keeps, she's talking to Igor, but she keeps looking over at the monster like, what, what yep. the fuck is that guy? What is he doing? Who is he? Yeah. So she's got kind of has that sort of uh, distracted quality, and I think it works. I think. Okay, we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because she says. Uh, well, she says Viseria. She says. Uh, she says uh, well, you mean the one? Yeah. Who okay. Yeah. All right. Heals those who are sick of mine. Okay. Mind. Wait. Wait. You know that whole thing. We're getting ahead, but okay. yeah, Igor thinks Viseria is a pretty. Place. I do like that she's really distracted by the monster. Yeah. I mean, I like that about it. It, it's not entirely her fault that it's a terrible line, and it's a worse line in the script. Well, yeah, in the, in the, in the well, it's there's worse in the script. It's it's kind of 
jumbled around. Yeah, it's kind of jumbled around. Uh, she tries to leave in the script, but is detained by Igor. And the movie sort of stands still, watching the monster do whatever he's not yeah. doing. And uh, I, I like that, that she keeps shifting her focus back and forth. Okay. And she even is talking to Igor as she's looking over at the monster. And I think that's effective. Okay. She's not great, but she's not given... <laughs> she's fine. I don't... I, she's you not know. given great dialogue to say. No. So it's not entirely her fault. Uh, he, Igor asks, is there a doctor named Frank Stein, Ludwig Frank Stein, in the village? Uh, and then Miss Exposition of 1942. There you go. Yeah. You mean the one who heals those who are sick in the mind? It's worse than the script, as we'll, we'll see. I don't know if I agree with that, because there's some... Well, we'll have to go... We'll have to see. Because there's a thing that I think wor works maybe slightly better in the script, um, and it might be Lugosi's fault. Because he says... Uh, and now we're, we're just jumping, we're jumping all over, all over I think. Place. But, um, well, maybe I'll wait till we get yeah. to that part. Shifts her gaze back and forth. Uh, do you know the doctor? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, none of that... There's none of that... That's, I guess, the point of what I'm going to say about the script, is there's none of that... He's not trying to come across as... as as a Bela Lugosi creep asshole like he is here. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's actually trying to smooth things over a little himself, bit. Ingratiate yeah. himself. Yeah. He says, uh, especially the line, I know his father and his brother too. <laughs> There's nothing at all in the script. In fact, he even they, they even say something in the script to the effect of, maybe I wrote it, I don't think I did. Something to the effect of, He's trying to calm her down. Calm her down yeah. by saying that, yeah. not rile not, her up. Not, not sounding, clearly. not sounding, you know, <laughs> shady as hell. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you do. I mean, that's a reasonable thing to do when your Earl C. Kenton and Bella Lugosi walks in to do your movie. Yeah. You go, hey, why don't you deliver this line like Bela Lugosi, and we'll be all creepy. You, I think you're giving <laughs> like both, <Earl>. both parties <laughs> way too, too much, much credit. credit. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> I think it's just what Lugosi did, and nothing yeah. was said. <coughs> uh, but I do. I actually do like how he, <coughs> how he says it. Sorry, <coughs> you need to get the <sighs> the e a e d. Yeah, you want to do the uh, what do you call it? Defibrillate. Yeah, could you? Yeah, let me tell you, <coughs> that's no picnic either. Really? Oh yeah, that what hurts. Do you mean? Doing Good. it or having it <coughs> having done? it done to you? Yeah, that hurts. It, how uh, you just wake up in pain? You like, oh, where the fuck am I? Yeah, yeah. 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 But that was decades ago. Yeah, I, I like how he says that. You know. I know his father and his brother too. Yeah, say. yeah. I do like the effect of it. So yeah. it's it's maybe it yeah, is better it, than in it, the script. It, it, it it's is. just different because what what it's doing is it's nonsensical. It doesn't you would he wouldn't behave like that. The script is a more reasonable way right, for him to for try him to try to, yeah, exactly. to her. And in the movie, she's not paying any attention anyway. Yeah. So he's b being he's Bella Lugosi. Being, but it's silly that he would you know. It doesn't make sense that he would be that He'd be way. sinister about it. Sinister, yeah. yeah. He's going to walk into town and be all sinister. But, but having said that, that is kind of his M.O. That's kind of <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we had 100 minutes of, yeah, uh, that's true. of him doing that when it didn't suit him. Yeah, right. You know, it didn't he suit his best, the guy's eye didn't at suit the, his best that, interest. That had his, some guy who had his uh, life in his hands, yeah. more or less. Yeah. He spit in his face. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure she's impressed by that, too. She doesn't care. She doesn't really pay attention at all. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah she's totally missed it. Yeah. Do you know the doctor? And then she's still watching, like, what yeah. the fuck is that big what green, that big big green, green, fella green doing? guy doing over there? Is that Frankenstein? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's yeah. thinking. Yeah. So that doesn't make any sense, because she's talking about someone named Frankenstein. Yeah. No, well, and and I then, think oh, there's another thing he says that's fr threatening, too, which is, uh, pretty place. Yeah, yeah, it's right, yeah. If something were yeah. happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's some impression yeah. I get. Yeah, no, you're right. It's supposed to be, again, trying to, um, you know, ingratiate himself. And yeah, well, and what he does is alienate her even further. Yeah, because there's also the, uh, uh, if I was saying that to her, I'm sure you would get the vibe that I was saying that she was pretty in some ultra so, creepy uh, way. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, pretty place. Pretty place. Uh, are yeah. all the geese girls <laughs> so lovely? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I'm doing there, but it ain't. Yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, I know. I also wanted to say, when he says, I know his father and his brother, too, it's <laughs> weird to say you know someone that's dead. You would think that you would say new, new, unless he is a ghost and is visiting mm, people. Good point. Which, which does, it, maybe, it, 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 it could it, be. Potential, I mean, there is the word ghost in the title of the film. Yes, Keep an eye open for that. Ghost. Maybe that'll be our Bill's ghost update. <laughs> Is there a ghost yet? Yeah, there's got to the be a fucking ghost in Rattling this. chains and moans from <laughs> beyond. <laughs> <laughs> that can only be. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Bill's ghost update. Oh God! Uh, and Why the answer are we still is doing there's this? the insinuation of a ghost <laughs> okay. uh, has been uh, okay. broached. The groundwork has been laid. The groundwork has been laid. I know his father. He, he talks to me. And <laughs> I'm doing Donald Schwarzenegger yeah, for some reason. Somehow. Uh, more like Hans or Franz. Yeah, he uh, he lives in a chateau at the end of the village, a large house with a high wall and a ladder and a truck, a truck and some, and some lighting equipment, equipment yeah. and some lighting shit, <laughs> a garage. <laughs> in the script, she continues. Just people know what we're talking about. Go, go to back to the previous minutes if you don't know. What yeah, we're talking about. yeah. There's a shot where you can see all that. Uh, she continues in the script with, "It is there he heals those who are sick of mind." Yeah, it's out of order. I think that's worse than saying, "You mean the doctor that?" Okay, okay, I like that. I don't know if. It's it's worse. They both suck. They both are terrible. <laughs> Let me, you know, but, but the one in the film, I think, Exposition is... Exposition Girl, yeah. 1942. Is the, that what you called her? Yeah. Miss Exposition <laughs> Miss in 1942. Exposition. I think it's better in the film just yeah. by a very by a slim hair. margin. There you go. We'll take it. And then he that says... That is the Dr. Frankenstein, I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this the same information's being it imparted just, just in a back, different order. Yeah. And I just, yeah. And so I think the order might have been better in the script. And then, I don't know. Who cares? Uh, and then he says, well, the, what do you got next? Oh, that he's a fine man. Oh, is he? Well, that's what she says. Oh, in the script. Oh, oh no. I, she says it in the in the movie? Yeah. He's a fine he's a man? He's a fine man. Oh, okay. I thought that was just in the script. Maybe he says she says it in the movie. I believe she does. I don't yeah, know. Pretty sure. We he's just saw fine, it. Well, I wasn't paying it. I, no, it really wasn't paying attention. a lot to distract me down <laughs> I here. know, I do. But she, then he says, she says the, something about the house at the end of the thing it with the high, really wall, high wall, and he says, oh, yes, thank you, which to me insinuates, oh, that's right. I remember now. And in the subtitles, it just says yes, but yes. it sounds to me like he says, oh, yes, yeah. thank you. Like he knows that he's been there before. Just another piece of information for this confusing mess. He knows him. He yeah. knows his father and his brother, yeah, too. Brother too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then she, they turn around. They finish well, their conversation. We, we do cut away a few times when she's looking at the monster. We cut away to him. Yeah. And he's staring dumbly at the sound of children playing. Mm -hmm. So he's just sort of distracted by that. Yeah. Then he starts to walk off in that direction. Right. Then they part the goose girl and Igor. Yep. And and only then does Igor notice that the monster has wandered off. Yeah. He's like, oh, which is shit, effective. There, there he goes. Yeah. The uh, goose girl stops and looks back at like, what are these fucking weirdos? Yeah. And for whatever reason, Lugosi does kind of a take and yeah. looks back at her. Yeah. They make I, eye contact. I, I like that they make eye contact, but it's sort of completely unmotivated that he would like, oh, what was that? And look back. I think it's a missed opportunity. They should have an affair. That would totally oh, be totally. the goose girl and the, the they're, they're blacksmith. Ha having a roll in the hay. <laughs> A roll in the hay. Yep. 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 Okay. Um, <laughs> but I do. I do like that he looks back and she like oh shit and runs off. Yeah. It, well, because she has barely noticed him at all to that point. Right. So she's just all freaked out. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but it works. Now we could we could add some subtext and say that she goes to tell the the gendarme that yeah these two fucking weirdos are in town. So then when they show up later, okay, it, it, the seed has been planted. But that's sort of I ex, like extra it. texture. That's that's the Frankenstein minute can canon as okay. far as I'm concerned. All right, perfect. She runs off. The monster approaches the sound of children uh, playing. We show them playing. There's a couple groups of kids playing in the background and a little girl playing with a ball in the foreground. Also in the background are the steps on which uh, Lionel Belmore roused up the crowd in Frankenstein. Well, it says something like, I can't remember, I should have written it down, courthouse of the town or yeah. Vissaria or whatever. But what it doesn't have is steps going down both ways. In the background of the the shot of the kids I couldn't playing? see the steps going down the other way. Well, it's kind of, there's, there's another building. Oh, but it's cut off? It cut off a little bit, but okay. it, those are the steps. Good, because I, 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 I thought that when I saw it. Yeah. It looks just like that, but it must not be because there's no steps going both ways, but yeah. okay. Uh, we have some very American kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, One of whom true. is wearing Chico Marx's hat. <laughs> yep, there you go. Um, they do not feel European in any way, no. shape, or form, and they're barely dressed European. Yeah, and it's not going to get better over the coming weeks oh, in no, the, uh, is, is when not. the crowd comes around. It is not. But you see a lot of people walking around in the background and stuff, yeah. and they all look like it's 1941. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think... Amer in, California, in California, except her, you know, she... Um, Colestine? Colestine, and then I was actually 
what's her name too? The goose girl. Janet Warren. The goose girl. Yeah. yeah For yeah, some reason, I remember that she's Janet Warren. More so than the goose girl. Yeah. 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 Um, so this asshole kid with Chico Marx's hat says, "I'll show her how to boot it," which is a very American thing to yes. say. Yes. Yep. I completely agree. I think it, it, it yeah. just. I'd be surprised if that was. Uh, being said in Vasaria <laughs> in 1942 in, in, yeah he kicks the ball to the roof it's a really weird looking shot where it bounces around on the roof and then like magnetizes itself to <laughs> yeah. the, the yeah. chimney it's, and, it's, I'm, I'm guessing it's because it's on a, a monofilament line pulling it into place yeah so it lands so it almost looks like it's backwards but it's not because it it, yeah, that's it stops true. so suddenly it's so bizarre the way it it's lands just, yeah. it's sort of a surreal but I've thing. always that that's really I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what I've always thought when I see it it yeah. doesn't look look backwards it looks weird so yeah, I can see someone saying maybe it's backwards maybe it's backwards it's, it's, someone it's, said that maybe no but oh. it's just the way it stops so yeah. suddenly yeah it looks like it was, it was just hanging there and then they pulled it away yeah which we, we would do in a reverse shot like that but yeah no the way it bounces around the, before backwards it, lands, it might look better to be honest it might <laughs> uh the way it bounces around before it attaches to the uh chimney looks normal yeah. it's just the way it attaches i'm sure there's a monofilament line with some guy off camera pulling it with into a, place with a fishing, uh, fishing rod <laughs> no he was just something like it. that yeah in the script, this all plays out very differently. Yeah, I was gonna, much I was gonna talk about that next week. I don't know if we want to talk about oh, it this okay. week too. But um, it's, it, next week, it, 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 a lot of it plays well, out. Well, leading, leading up to this moment, we can talk about now. Mm -hmm. Plays differently. We uh, we have a group of kids. They're antagonizing the monster, calling him names, throwing things at him, laughing at him. Oh yeah, there's a great way to diminish the uh, the power of this character. Yeah, that's true. You know, true. if they're not afraid of him and are are making fun of him, why should we, the audience, give a shit about? him at all yeah at that point he's a clown now so i, I think wisely they jettisoned all that crap because it would have been super annoying to begin with yeah probably that's a good point it's just it's just wrong in this instance and you I know think villagers what, what did plays beat out, the shit out of the monster in in bride so i guess that's um, the closest but, thing they're but, coming to but there it was different circumstances they weren't little absolutely. kids absolutely taunting him and yeah. laughing at him yeah that would be bullying weird. him basically yeah absolutely and as we'll see here we'll see in the next it becomes more like next the opposite yeah the next minute i think it's much more effective who kicked the ball what's the name of the actor that kicked the ball i don't know did you find that no i, mean, I, I can't I, I couldn't but find there, any. apparently william smith an actor who is in that scene okay has been claiming that he kicked the ball and i think it's an instructive view on memory because i could totally see a person who's still alive uh -huh. so old old person who yep. was a little kid at the time remembering it oh, at some point the story changes and it becomes him oh, yeah, that's I kicking the ball, ball. Yeah. and i don't think it has to be a lie but no, someone I'm said that that on the forum on uh on the classic horror film board and someone else replied yeah he's he's a liar or whatever well, i don't know I mean, what how do you said. how do you know but that? then what happened was somebody got really offended by this and said you know this is he's a good man and he's not trying and it's like we're, 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 we're losing the point it, it, you don't have to you don't have to lie to be mistaken and right. i think that's probably what right it is. yeah i mean you were a little kid at the time you were and i know at least tom weaver weighed in uh, in some capacity to say that uh it wasn't him and that he's the other kid in the scene but i've never been able to even pick him out i can see him in a I mean, know, still uh, unless we know william smith yeah I, I don't know how you would well he he went on to do other things so you can kind of tell oh, okay. you see the little kid and you say oh that looks like him when he gets older he's he's famous so we're talking for about something. The, the kid with the chico hat i don't the, know is the one hat. that kicks the ball i thought that the kid with the chico hat didn't kick the ball well, he's the one, that, he's it, the so, one okay. that kicks right. the ball anyways so there's i don't think it's william smith there was another name bandied about and i've already forgotten it let's see my here's the thing that there, william smith isn't taking into account is i was the one that kicked the you ball. kicked the ball oh yeah. that's who it was lang yeah uh, <laughs> i can't remember what he says now i don't know, I don't know. Yeah, i can't find it i'm um, guessing it's lines like that is why uh igor does not have the teeth anymore it's oh, because it was because difficult he, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> So yeah. So the um, there's a thing that I didn't get uh, write down from the script. So and I wish I had. Um, so I don't know. Is it something mm -hmm. you can find quickly? Can what you are get we to here? Where? The introduction of Cloestine and how they describe her. It should be close to where the bookmark is. Where's the bookmark? And, uh, so here's the bookmark. So we need to go back a few pages. Elsa. Yeah, you want to go back. Elsa. Several, don't know. I don't know anybody named Elsa. She played mm -hmm. the bride mm -hmm. in Frankenstein. Yes. 
but <laughs> she's coming up later. Yeah. Uh, this is way taking way way too yeah. long. Meanwhile, as the last in the month, the little girl of about five. Yep. Pretty with an air of wide-eyed seriousness about her that stamps her as a little apart from the rest. I like that. I just think they they, 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 they nailed the it. casting director was like, you won't believe it. I, I found, found precisely exact, yeah. what you've written here. Yeah. And that's what's so fascinating. She's fascinating to watch. Yes. Uh, and we're gonna talk about her for the next couple of weeks. This she's like the anti dog. Anti exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that came up with all four of our guests that we had early on. Yeah. With with Dino and Scott, with Frank and with Barsky, because it was one of the lightning round questions you had is Dunny oh, Dunnigan right. versus Janet and Gallo. Yeah. And without question, it was unanimously, yeah. she takes the lead because she's, yeah, I mean, that nails it. Yeah. It's almost like they wrote that after the, they had after cast After they it. saw her. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you'll see that, yeah, next week it'll probably come it's, up again. It's but. a lot more prominent. Yeah. So, so you know, devil's advocate, she's not asked to do as much as Donnie is. Donnie, I think that there was a mistake to give him as, as big a role, I Well, guess. I think what and I... The little kid works great here. Yeah. And like uh, Maria in the first film. Yeah. And yeah, Marilyn like Harris, too. She was great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the problem with Son is that Lee was enamored of him, yeah. from what I've read. I thought he was just the greatest thing, and not everybody agreed. Yeah. But Lee gave him... You know, excessive screen Lots time of lines. because he thought he was just the, the greatest thing. The one thing that I that I can sort of forgive is when you're throwing something together the way they threw that movie together. The idea of him mentioning the giant when he does in the film mm -hmm. is very effective. So, yeah, you, well, I so think you work I, your script around that, about yes. around that, and the way he chose to work that out is to have him be a precocious, lovable character that's giving, the, the, giving, the, bringing joy to the, the family the every, quotes, every time uh, he walks lovable. into the room. Yeah, and it's not it's it, the it room's not the it, room's not. <laughs> yeah, you got to read not, not reading not the room impressed. properly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. All right. Well, is that it? Was it time for uh, that? Uh, sound can only mean one thing. Yeah. Uh, it's time for me to shut up. Any more questions, wise ass? No, where is it? This is. Uh, it's time for got any more pre questions, wise yes. ass part two. Brought to you. Brought by. to you by patreoncom slash minute for all of your patreoncom slash minute needs. Now with bonus pre questions, wise ass minute videos and Stuff. things you can do. Uh, next week will be brought to you by Kraft and Ed Hurley. He will give us some <laughs> recipes during the breaks. Is those recipes, some of them are pretty good. I mean, <laughs> you go ahead and scoff. You scoff all you want. That was part one. Okay, so here we go. Part D. Comment from Sean. I want to see the deleted scene where Igor takes Junior shopping for a new suit. <laughs> uh, yep. Today is big day. We are going to get you new suit. A new suit. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just something off the rack. <laughs> yep. Reading off of someone's comment. I we like already it. made that comment. Yes. But this is, that's how this works. I like it. Chuck says, Chuck from Winnipeg says, This scene has always annoyed me. <laughs> I know, who gives a fuck? Do the children in Germany often kick balls with strings attached? <laughs> is this the equivalent to the cork on Rupert's fork from uh, yep. um, Dangerous Liaisons? I've, I can't remember the name of it. It's something like that. <sighs> Yeah, I know what he's referring to, and I can't think of it. It's been remade multiple times. It, they did another version recently with uh, Gender Swap. Um, now I've got Dangerous Liaisons in yeah, my head. It's, it's not, something it's like not that. that, but it's something like Anyways. that. Anyways. Yeah. Or is she a tetherball thief who is suffering <laughs> deserved retribution? Contrived device? Why? This is as wise ass as I could muster. I hope I haven't let Tom down. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we, all, we all have off days. That's right. I believe in the script it's referred to as a piece of elastic. I did. I agree. So yes, maybe it's true. Little, you you hold it. And boop, 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 yeah. boop, 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 boop. You know what else is in the script? And this is this is actually good timing. Okay. Uh, we're mentioning this before the next comment because I looked ahead. Okay. Which I generally haven't done. I, I wanted to keep it keep it fresh. For fresh. Uh, we'll see how well that goes. We'll get to the last <laughs> one. It'll be. Um, I I don't can't read this. Yeah. No. Um, it's described in the script as a ball with a smiling clown face on yeah. it, and that indeed it is, is exactly what, what, it is is. what it is. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Do children in Germany often kick balls with strings attached? 
Yeah, it is a little weird, and it looks really weird. Yeah, it looks odd with the string, and I guess I think it's it's sort of a uh, contrived thing to get it stuck on the roof. Yeah, still visible because if it was no string on it, it would you know, fall down. You know, the other thing that the doesn't th- happen. Yeah, the other thing that doesn't happen in the in the script is she doesn't kick it. She's holding She's it holding by it. the elastic, and then the kid comes and kicks it. So maybe yeah. that actually makes more sense in the script. Because like in the he's film, saying, do they often kick balls with strings on them? I assume he means her. Yeah, she's she's she's, she's, kicking she's kind of kicking it wall. against the wall. Yeah. yeah. But I'll, the other thing is, at that age, yeah, that's a totally what you do. You take your toy that mm-hmm. we were, that is designed yeah, for, for one spe- purpose, and you specific use it for purpose, else. to do something completely different with it. Not just completely different, but probably going to break it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or lose it. Is yeah. The case yeah, may be. Yeah. All right, Mike. Writes. I'm sensing a pattern in these comments, but go ahead. Really? No, no. Well, I guess you're right. So far, we've had Sean, <laughs> someone else, then Mike. Yep. So we're up to Mike. Mike says, I wonder if the clown ball is a part of the Kirk Hammett collection. Which <laughs> yeah, good. That totally could be. It could be. You could totally see that. Yep. All right. Now I'm going back to... Back to random? Yeah. I just want to throw a couple quick ones, random quick ones. This Kay. one's from a while ago now. John Hazard commented, I love you guys, but we're not really going to have to listen to that barking all the way through the intro, are we? It's really unpleasant. I'm missing the sun <laughs> intro already, including wait, well, hello. It was a great intro. Well, hopefully you like the new one. It's yeah. a little more toned down this time, because I, I, I found one quote that takes a while, and, yeah. it, and I like it. And if you don't like it, then we'll, well I, it. what he's referring to <laughs> is the first two episodes of the season. I used the version where you had Boomer yeah. repeating throughout, um, and I did it just to be a dick. <laughs> and, uh, okay. and after well, this, there you go, after, listeners. after our listeners will just have to suffer. Exactly, that's our motto. Yep. And after the second episode this season, I stopped doing it. So yes, so there by you go, John. You by, by now, you, it's not going to be barking at you. Okay, I thought you said Tom for a second, but it was John. That's right. Okay, I, uh, so I was just as annoyed, but like I said, I was just being an asshole. <laughs> being an asshole. All right, maybe we got time for one more. Oh sure. Mike commented. Uh, I'd have to find the post to see what he commented on. Let's see if this will Well, load. maybe the context will. Maybe this will load, and then I won't have to make it up. I still don't know. Um, he says, uh, at will, I think it's the second... No, I'm sorry, the third episode okay. of this season. He says, At Will, Rathbone, and even Donnie's bombastic deliver really fit the surf music of the theme. Mellow Cedric Hardwick slows it to a crawl. Mm. I think that's true. And that's I, I actually liked that difference that it provided. But it does definitely do that. It's yeah. a little more relaxed yeah. theme. Then Mike also says, I also think Wolf reanimated Lionel Belmore and Michael Mark as part of his <laughs> plea deal. <laughs> It's as good as an explanation yeah, of hey, any. Not, I, I it really is like now that. official canon. Yeah, yeah I really like that's that. That's great. That is, that's, I like that a lot. And then the uh, same minute, John Hazard commented, ah, new intro, sans barking. Much better. <laughs> Thanks. So there you go. Yeah. All right, now we're ahead. Oh, my God. I think. Oh, shoot. I hit the wrong thing. Okay, well, shoot. I don't know. We might miss one. That's all right. Okay. It's that person is sitting at home crying his eyes out because we didn't answer his smart eyes question. But Well, the problem is... Yep, I just need to be more organized. But I liked I like the idea of not reading ahead. But yeah, then yeah. I'm reading comments that are like from a month ago now. Well, that's fine because I mean we um, haven't recorded in two months. What we did is recorded the first ten episodes in a big batch. Yeah. So it's been almost two months since we've yeah. we've done this. So we haven't been able to answer questions. Right. From one through ten till now. Yep. So I think that's fair. Good. Then we're good. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whoa, we're off the charts.